What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Jacked Up Fishing. I'm Bill. I got a good topic for today. GNU. Are they good? Are they not good? What is it? So I'm looking at a GNU Super 16. Gonna go over everything about it, what I like and what I don't like about it, and uh, all the specifications, how wide, how long, but Super 16 is on the books. story for you here I have a buddy lives on my street been friends for years 25 30 years he actually buys a GNU but is it a GNU it's not a GNU it's an off-brand GNU named Savage Creek they're not in business anymore but it looks just like a GNU but it isn't it's got a tunnel hole had a 40 horse had a center console too much too much stuff for a little boat he bought that boat it was the worst boat I've ever seen made couldn't even ride, had a sprayed inside the boat. It was horrible. So fast forward to this year, 2020, it's probably been a good 15 years since he's had that boat. He's like, I'm gonna get a GNU. I was like, oh, oh no, here we go again. I've always had bad taste in my mouth saying, hey, the GNU, horrible boat, horrible boat. Little did I know that the GNU Super 16 was out. I, I, hadn't been in one well he bought it anyway didn't listen to me didn't listen to anybody we're all cracking on him of course doing what guys do he brings it home we go fishing the other day here's some footage of us fishing Heavy kind of guy. Six foot three. I'm six foot three and 275, and I can walk around this boat pretty good. For real, I'm feeling, I don't feel like, you know what I mean? If you'd asked me that, I would have laughed at you. So while we're fishing, I'm checking this boat out. It rides out okay. We're doing, uh, I don't know, 30 and 40 mile an hour. It's creaking along. There's no stability issues. I'm standing up fishing. We're catching fish. I'm pleasantly impressed. Um, not saying nothing. I don't want to jinx it. So I'm just going all over the boat, standing and everything. Um, ended up driving it at the end of the day. It was pretty awesome, man. I got to admit. I thought I was like, you know what? I need to write a review about this because not a lot of reviews about the Super 16 on YouTube. So here we are, this one's set up. I'm gonna walk you around this one. It's 16 foot long. It's four foot seven wide at the widest point. Of course, it's a Ginu, so it has a point in the front. And in the back, it's got a flat transom. The one my buddy bought was equipped with a 40 horsepower Suzuki, brand new. Um, it was an older hull, but it's, you know, a good hull still, there's not much to go wrong with it. It does have a little bit of uh, rigging issues some people like to drill some holes and uh, as you can see these new um, these new wire clamps they make nowadays uh, they're boltless so there's no screws there which is pretty nice he he yeah right so um brand new controls it's a stick steer model if you haven't seen a stick steer model it's pretty epic um, you're steering with no steering wheel. It's just a stick on the left side. It takes a little use, getting used to, but man, it opens the whole boat up. Look at this thing. So it opens the whole boat up just for you to use. It's got a little front deck. 
you drive it's very comfortable to drive it rides on pins you could turn this thing i got videos of it i'm gonna show you right here oh yeah riding this canoe full board with the stick steer So here's the one my buddy bought it's on the lift right now so you can see it comes with a trolling motor front deck stick steer brand new controls with a new tack has a little garment on it brand new suzuki 40 horse it likes the weight in the front of the boat i don't know why it just does these cushy seats are all in here which made it real nice for fishing if you're just fishing but i stood up right here i stood up i'm 280 pounds six foot three I'm a big guy and I don't like to be in a canoe or anything tippy. So let's just get that out of the way. The advantages and disadvantages are the things I do like and the things I don't like about the boat. I love that it's very simple. It's a very simple boat. There's nothing crazy. There's just a couple little switches up front. If you want to redo the wiring and stuff and you can clean that up in a matter of an afternoon, which is really cool. Um, there's just a little bilge pump in the back down there, a little bait well does have a fuel separator it's pretty common with any outboard motor these days with ethanol you need to watch out for water in your engine uh, the dislikes i like about the boat it's small two fish two people can fish it that's it um anymore you're just asking for trouble i did see one on facebook the other day that sunk the guy had a console in it i think and he was walking around the outside of the console i think it's just too much for such a little platform um but it's simple. The simplicity is makes it the benefit. The drawbacks are it does porpoise. It porpoises a lot. When you get a 40 horse, which I don't think he needs a 40, I think a 25 to 30 would have been perfect on this thing. But it came with it. He bought he paid eight grand for this whole boat motor trailer. Um, but this is a brand new Suzuki 40 on it with a bunch of warranty. That goes a long way. And so that's the main thing. Simplicity is the bonus, and uh, maybe a little porpoising issue when you get going fast. Other than that, that's a pretty good solid ride, I gotta admit. We had a lot of fun the other day and I'm I'm pretty impressed. So, so they've done a lot of research, a lot of research and development to make this boat, obviously. So don't buy an off-brand one because it's they haven't done the same thing. I've seen it before, I've seen molds come off this boat. I've seen the Savage Creek, which was horrible. Um, they've done a lot of stuff to make this boat and have it, it has a cult following like nobody's business at least in our area so check it out uh, check it for one to test ride that's the main thing when you buy a boat make sure you test ride it if you don't you're just doing yourself a disservice because you might not be able to get a good feel for it until you own it already which is not <laughs> that's what would happen with the Savage Creek so anyway check it out look at it this is a nice boat So if you're looking for a quick two-person simplistic rig, go out backwaters in the rivers, go catch redfish, trout, snook, anything in the backwaters, even in the lakes, it's a great move. It's a great move. I gotta admit, it's a pretty stable platform. Run around to catch fish. We caught a ton of fish the other day, at least 10, 12 fish in a matter of two hours. So I had a good experience with it and I recommend it. But uh, don't buy off-brand. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.